Now that we have our aggregate expenditure function and we've plotted the 45 degree line to see how big our economy is, we can now look at what happens to the size of the economy when there is a change in total spending. So what happens when aggregate expenditures, that whole graph, shifts? So for example, if our graph, which is aggregate expenditures equals 300 plus 0.5y, what if that whole function shifts upward? Okay, by say $100. So autonomous spending has increased. Notice that the new equilibrium is at a higher level of income. So an increase in autonomous aggregate expenditures causes national income to increase as well. The question is how much? And to figure out how much we need what is called the spending multiplier. The spending multiplier tells us that if we increase aggregate expenditures by say a dollar, how much does that increase income? To calculate the spending multiplier, it is 1 divided by 1 minus MPE. Well, in this example, MPE, the marginal propensity to expend, is 0.5. So MPE is the slope of your aggregate expenditure function. So we can take 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5, and we end up with 1 divided by 0.5, and we end up with a spending multiplier of 2. So what this tells us is, is if we increase aggregate expenditures by a dollar, national income will increase by two times that or in this case, where we increased aggregate expenditures by $100, national income increases by $200. Why does this matter? Well, if we increase autonomous aggregate expenditures, for example, government spending to stimulate the economy, the government doesn't have to spend a million dollars to get the economy to grow a million dollars. It depends on the spending multiplier. If in your economy your spending multiplier is 2, then the government spending a million dollars shifts up the aggregate expenditure function, we're spending more, and it increases national income, so we're at this new equilibrium, by two times that. Government spends a million dollars, it stimulates and grows the economy two million dollars. So we can then see that there is this ripple effect a multiplication effect. And that's because if we increase autonomous expenditures, such as an increase in government spending, then when the government spends money and it creates a job, that puts income in someone's pocket. That increase in income means they're going to spend more, which puts more income in someone else's pocket, which means that person spends more, and the impact ripples out. It's like throwing a pebble in a pond, if you want to skip a pebble, you see all those ripples that go out and out and out and then eventually disappear. The same thing is true here. How much spending you need to do to stimulate the economy depends on your spending multiplier. The bigger the spending multiplier, the less change in autonomous expenditures are needed to stimulate the economy.